close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And if the mind is going to talk to itself about anything, talk to, it, talk to yourself about the breath. How is the breath right now? Does it feel good? You can try long breathing for a while and see if that feels good. And if long breathing feels tiresome, you can make it shorter, more shallow, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Try to explore what you've got right here. The human mind, the human body have a lot of potentials. It's up to us to learn how to make the most of them. And particularly, you want to learn how to train your mind to be its own best friend. Because when the mind is talking to itself, sometimes it can say very destructive things. That's not being a friend at all. We appreciate other people when they come in, get us out of our bad moods, because the mind has gotten in a cycle which just goes around and around and around in depressing thoughts. And it's good to have somebody come in from outside and pull us out. But you can't depend on other people all the time. Meditation is a technique in learning how to pull yourself out of destructive thinking, out of thinking that just pulls you down. Reminding yourself that you do have good qualities in the mind. And there are potentials for happiness that lie inside. We spend so much time looking for happiness outside, depending on other people, other things outside. That's because we haven't trained ourselves inside properly. So you have to train yourself to be your best friend. Notice that when the mind is feeling down, how do you lift it up? When the mind is scattered, how do you settle it down? When it's burdened with something, how do you release it from its burdens? These are skills that we can master. This way, when you're with other people, you don't have to suffer. When you're alone, you don't have to suffer, because you've got good friends inside. <laughs>